Hello and welcome, my name is Madrid and let's do another episode of my time at Porsche. Let's get some new achievements, let's do Ruin Adventure Achievement. In this video I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do to get the Ruin Adventure Achievement. What do you need, what skills do you need, so we are going through everything. So if you're watching this video, I kind of think you already know my time at Porsche and you've already played it, you got the game. So we are starting at the hazardous area ruins level 2 and in this level, yeah, you kind of need the basic things. You shouldn't be wearing your basic clothing anymore, you should have at least some decent amount of defense point on your clothing and you should uh, make the best sword you can make i would only take the sword you could also go with some gloss but yeah i would recommend the sword because it's just a little bit more flexible as you can see you can dive through your opponents and take them out pretty quickly so i am playing at the moment at level 30 and I have quite some skills uh, points put in the combat tree just to get this achievement and if you want to do it the easy part you might do that as well and at the moment I'm also collecting some other stuff that I need for another achievement but that's a whole different kind of story if you know uh, if you watch my last video you know what achievement I am talking about so the beginning part of every rune level is kind of taking down every enemy in the map and yeah killing them and at level 2 there are quite some enemies you should take down there are less traps at the first level you see a few traps but yeah they're not hard to get through so you will see different kind of enemies you will see the fish you will see the mask faint and some other easy easy enemies but this mask faint is almost always the first one you should take out i always take out the fish first because that guy is doing a lot of damage but yeah you could take them out in quite any order as you see I only upgraded my clothing, my jacket and not my pants yet so if I can do it at level 30 with only the jacket upgrade and a good sword you should be able to do it as well. The second level is not that hard. The only hard thing in this thing is the end boss and jumping at the right moment like at now I'm waiting for the gas to come. They stop, you get a few seconds and it should be just enough to jump to the uh, chest and back again. So we are going quite fast to the first levels. We're already level 4 and yeah, we only need to take down a few more enemies. And as you can see I try to take down two enemies at the same time. By using the sword you can try and position your enemies and take them down even faster. You can also try and lure one back like I'm doing here. Taking that one down, jumping a little bit back when he comes too close to his friends and then kill the next one. But also don't forget all the boxes because you need to get them all. The water is poisoned, so you should stay out of it and I quite forget that part. So it's costing me a lot of health. And you shouldn't be afraid of dying, you got three chances and every day you get one extra chance. So if you die, you, do, you can do a maximum of two runs in one day. And if you die once that run the next day, you will get a new possibility to do it again and as I already said early on don't forget every chest because there are valuable stuff in there that you need to craft other missions and achievements so always empty your inventory before entering this hazardous area as you can see I already unlocked it a lot of slots in my inventory so I can carry quite a lot but it's still not enough as you will see later on. 
So now we're going to the fun part of this video, taking down a first end boss. And I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way, because there's one easy way, there's a fast pattern to do this. You can hit the guy two, three times and then you'll dive away. If you dive away exactly at the right moment, you can then hover back, do two jumps out again, and he will do two smashes and you can hit him again with two or three hits and you dive back again. That's the way you get to do it. And at some point in the battle when he is getting low, he is go, I made a mistake there. He is going to shoot you away. You can roll to his back and that way he misses you. And I do that quite often, do that wrong. At this point I was standing in front of him once he's shooting this just hit him with everything he got because that moment he is already down and that's the easiest and fastest way to take him down and you get a lot of nice stuff and for some achievements you need to take that guy down a lot so once we've killed this guy and we've destroyed all the boxes around him because we want the money we want the money i'm greedy i'm greedy as hell we are going for another run and this time it's going to be level 3. It's a little bit harder but I'm still not using that much healing stuff so if you bring on healing stuff it will make your life a lot more easier. And the fun part if you're lucky you get a nice drop at the end of this level. First try and take down the fish but also try to group your opponents together that way they are easy targets these player plinks are kind of easy and in level 3 you also see the bandit rats the bandit rats are quite annoying because they do hit hard and sometimes you need to change from enemy just to stay alive and as you will see I'm quite low on health at this moment but that doesn't matter and I'm going to die soon but the most important thing is trying to get enough health and stay alive long enough for the end boss always look at the timing and always look around the corners because when you dive through a door to, to evade the gas there can always be an enemy and you shouldn't be rolling toward him that way you get some time and some space to do a straight attack and not run stupidly back. I did that a lot and it cost me a lot of health. As you see there are a lot more enemies in the level 3. There's also an extra level, an extra floor you need to deal with. And the biggest problem will be keeping that health up and that's my biggest problem here also. So I'm already know that I will die. I will die soon. But let's take a of enemies with me before we die. Because the fun part is the enemies don't respawn as you die and that's a good thing. As you can see I got quite low health here. Yeah, I couldn't take him down anymore. But there are only two enemies left, so we shouldn't be able to have any hard times here. Taking those two down. And then move on to the next floor. Oh no, just a few more enemies. Well, let's kill them. Try to group them up and kill them fast. After that, go to a corner so you get an overview of the room and see how many enemies there are. And try to group them up. These guys are pretty easy, the jump dancers or the fish like I like to call them are pretty easy when you get them cornered. So this is another area in the new map, in the third map you got these small rooms with quite a lot of enemies. It can corner you pretty easy and you don't have much space to roll. So try and pick your enemy carefully and maybe pull one out if you can but it's quite hard in those rooms so now we get to kill the rest of the group outside 
Um, I'm getting slammed a lot, so that way I can't hit a lot. Then you need to dive out. If you see that you're not being able to hit them, dive out. And don't use the spacebar for running, because you need it for the hitting. And that's also an important thing when you fight the end boss. Don't push the space button. Don't use the speed running because it will kill you. Here I almost got the group all together. And that way we almost had a perfect three kill in a row. Oh, you want to die too? That can be arranged. As you can see we need to kill a lot more enemies and I'm trying to lure them back. This is a perfect trap because they don't get through the railing. And there is the kill. We also get a lot of stuff. Try to kill the fish first, the jump dancer, because the other one is kind of easy. Come on, he's jumping, he's evading me. That doesn't happen often. Alright, we are already at a fourth level. And this is costing a lot of health. Health we do need for the end boss. Try and group your enemies up, take them down as groups, that's the best way to do it with your sword. And therefore you need your energy, so don't run, don't run at all. And as you can see there's two enemies inside the room and we're taking down the hardest one first because the other one isn't hitting us at all. It's, it's almost like a peanut cakewalk. We are already at 43 kills and we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of engines and some other liquid tempt. There's a lot of stuff in here you can use in your workshop. So, a few more rooms, or only one more room. This is the first time I'm using apples just to get the stamina up because I just need to keep hitting them. But you could get some potions or some other food that will heal you up during the levels that you're not fighting. Because in the end boss you should be able to do it with a half health bar. And I got over 700 health. And in the end of the level, this level, you are going to get a nice surprise. I'm not sure if it's dropping every time at level 3, because I got it at my first run. So maybe you have to try some more runs, and you'll see in the end of this video what that surprise is. Or not at the end, in the middle. Just in a few minutes when we kill the boss, or kill these guys. And they're quite annoying, because they got me trapped kind of good all right so they're done and we already got 50 kills that's lots let's lure this one to us oh the red is also coming so a little bit back try and hit them both together that way they're easy kill an easy kill is what we want let's take down the jumper dancer and as you see he's all also growing in level so it's not just that there are more enemies in the level 3 hazardous area, but they're also higher level. And again, we need to take two rats down and one below. That's the beauty of the sword. So use your sword and get the best sword you can get. I haven't tried the knuckles yet and I also haven't tried the gun. Gun would be nice, but you need bullets for that, and I can't make them. Level 3 in boss, and we're going to use this same strategy. Remember, don't use the shift button to sprint, uh, because it only uses up stamina, and you won't be able to dive away. That's the most important lesson I use. Leave that shift button alone, because you don't need it in the combat here. You only need to hit him twice, dive away two times at the right moment and push the attack button again so you can get close to him. As you can see I'm taking him down quite easy, half the way down. And again he's still trying to hit me, he, normally he would already start shooting, there it is. And that's kind of hard to evade. 
when you're in front of him because I should have rolled to his back and now it's just killing time it's just slashing time so after dealing the killing blow you're going to see the major problem of the dungeon and that is space because he dropped already the most important thing you're going to need for the last for the last dungeon level level four and it's a magical hat and i need to eat everything i got because there's no time for me to go in another dungeon yeah we could do it but i need to heal up and i need to go to sleep so we've picked up the hat and the hat will give you a plus 300 health and that's amazing an amazing hat you couldn't buy it at the mystery man so this is where to get it the best hat in the game so far at least i haven't found any better if you have found a better hat put it in the comment down below i really would like to hear it where i can get it and what i should do for it because I love getting better equipment, better clothing. So we've done two dungeons in a day and we are going back home, doing a little sleeping and then we are going for the last level, getting our achievement. So if you're still with me and haven't subscribed yet, push the subscribe button. This is the time because we are going for the planned level four and we are going to get this achievement in one try because it isn't hard it isn't hard at all you only need a lot of time because it just took me a lot of time taking down all these things all these enemies and all these traps and as you can see i got lucky sometimes it's five floors this time i got four floors and that will speed it up a lot take down the enemies fast and as you already can see i got over 1000 health and that is helping a lot because that way we don't have to worry about dying anytime soon keep hitting them keep hitting them hard try to group them if you're surrounded try and jump out of them because they will hit you once you're cornered from two sides you should get out of there because else they will keep hitting you and you won't be able to hit them even once so level two and normally we would get one jumping level jumping all around the gas and not having to kill any any enemies but i'm not lucky i need to kill them all and as you can see we already got the red rat here he is going to do considerable damage so try and take him down as fast as possible because else he will do damage luring him also doesn't help you just need to go straight in and attack them as fast as possible go in the corner look around the chamber again try and find your enemies the best one you need to kill and as you can see in the level three there were only two rooms in this map and now we got three and we even got doors we got doors we have to activate and that's kind of annoying because it's going to take us a lot of time and i hope i'm going to do some more damage in the future because hitting these guys is getting a harder challenge so now we can open the door and we can go to the fort and as you can see we can lure them out and that's a good thing because there are many enemies in here and i'm already at half health look at my health it's going down pretty fast trying to lure this one but he won't fall for the trap he even shoots through the wall so be careful these masked feints won't fall for your luring trap now we get a tree left and again we are going to try and lure one out as you can see it's still not working get him in the chamber but we can take him down pretty quick this way 
Killing them all is taking a lot of time. Level 3 I did in 7 minutes and I guess 20 seconds it was, but this one is going to take a lot longer. Almost 10 minutes, we'll see at the end because you'll have a counter clocking you before you kill the end boss. So, now we got a lot of doors to open and I guess we need to open all the doors before we can move on to the next level. So maybe an extra level wasn't bad when we hadn't had to open the door. You do get a lot of chests in this and that's a good thing. But it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. So there's the last one, last red. Bandit red. And it ain't a hard thing. And this is a kind of new setup, a map. I just walked past one, I didn't even saw him. Trying to take down the red first, then the red red, because the red red is doing the most damage. But then I get cornered and that's taking a lot of damage. Taking down the red again and the other mask faint is still shooting at me. That's kind of annoying. Taken down and the one we walked past is still up there, so that's a lucky thing for us because he could have joined the party also and that wouldn't have been so nice. We're already at 33 kills and a lot of resources. I wish I could open these boxes, there should be some nice stuff in it. So if you think I'm going to get over 50 kills, get giving you a like because I love a like. This level is kind of annoying because there's a little glitch that you won't be able to survive. So we are going to take down these enemies and then I'm going to give you some new tips that will keep you alive or I will even show it to you. Dying on the most crappiest way in this game. As you can see he's dropped in there, there's no way I can hit him. So I was thinking let's jump in and kill him that way. But now the biggest problem. I can't get out. This is the most annoying thing that could happen to you. You could better restart the level than yeah, die in there because that will cost you a life. And those lives are pretty important. Well, if you jump the right way, he can get out. But I did die once there and it was quite annoying. Right, this is also an interesting map. You would think the end is up there, but it's not. Well, do pick up the chest there because there's some useful stuff in there. But it, the end isn't there. Oops, I'm going to take a picture from me. But that wasn't what I wanted to do. Alright, we get a few more enemies to kill. And they won't be lured into their death. And I get pinned down in the wall. And if the rat goes in the wall, it heals himself. That's quite annoying. So there are some glitches in here. But you will be able to live. And you will be able to find a way to get past them. Alright, well, let's open the chest. And let's move on. And let's kill the red rat. Because we are almost at the end boss. We are almost at the achievement. And that's the thing we are doing this all about. You get some quite some nice stuff in here. I got over 20 liquid tempered here. That's quite what you need for some other achievements. But the most important thing is getting the achievement. And that's the most fun thing to do. But the map is quite large. And I do think I will get over 50 kills, maybe even over 60 kills. Try and corner your enemies, that's the most important thing. And as you can see, I am quite low on health at the moment. And the most annoying thing is that most of my health was lost during that drop in the pawn of poison. 
that I couldn't get out of it. And as you can see, I'm already doing over 300 damage. If you've done more damage in this game, put it in the comment down below. I would really want to know how much damage have you done. Alright, so we died. We still got alive and now let's get the chest because I don't want to forget any chests. We can use everything. We can use everything in this game. Everything you can pick up, everything you can make in this game can be used for other stuff. Oh, don't forget to pick up anything. Now that I walk through this map, you can see how large it is. How much time it's going to take to walk through all these areas. And it's going to take us quite some time if we don't jump over it. So killing the last few. I really want to go to the end boss. And show you the nice things you get when you kill him. Because every end boss is giving you some nice new things. Although the head from the level 3 end boss was the best thing I found so far in this game. Let's lure these two out, let's kill them as a couple. And then the next one spawns, that was just what I expected. And there's one around the corners, always check around those corners. And uh, we've got them both, no, nope, we should have gotten them both, but we didn't. Oh well, we can kill them anyway. Let's take those last apples because I need some space, but I also need some stamina. I need a lot of stamina. And are these the last two rats? Let's group them up. Let's group them up. That's the way to kill a rat. Oh, and we're cornered. That's not the way to do. You shouldn't get cornered. You shouldn't be in the middle. That way you take a lot of damage. And will this be the last room? Yes, we are finally going to the end room and kill the boss. For now, for the last time. Alright, here he is, the level 4. And he's not kind of different than the other ones. Because if you roll with the system, hit him two times, dive away two times and go straight up in attack, you can evade kind of every hit from him. The only hard one is the bullet when he shoots at you and that's one you should dive behind him. You should learn how to dive and you can even try and challenge people from the village to battle and you can learn how to dive the right way if you won't, don't want to learn it in combat. So we're almost at the part that he should be starting to shoot again. He is halfway, so he's going to hit me, I guess, one more time. And there it is. No, one more time. No, one more time. Now we pushed him over. Now he shoots. It's exactly at 50% and... Well, he does hit me once and there it is. Let's start hitting him hard. Taking down the health he has left. As you can see, he got some more resistance. I'm doing a lot less damage than the last M boss. But it's the system is the same and you will live. Also, it's a close one, this one. So I guess the next time I'm going to get some more defense stuff. And there it is, the Ruin Adventure Achievement. And we also got the Lion Claws. It's kind of like the old claws you get at the start of the game, but they do a lot more damage. But I think they're kind of slow. But we'll show that in a few seconds. If you're new to the channel and if you enjoyed this video, please press the subscribe button. And if you got any comment, any questions or got any thoughts on this video, Put it in the comment down below. I love to hear from you guys because I'm making these videos for you. So as you can see, they're kind of slow, those lion claws. They take a long time to punch the hit. And yeah, that's why I don't use them. I do keep them, but they're kind of slow. They're kind of annoying slow. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video and as we are trying to get our last boxes did we get them all nope one more one more we are going to the end of the video and i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and i hope you see you at the next achievement run the next speed run see you at the next my time of porsche